Last year I posted a video about my most anticipated books for 2023. The new releases that were coming out that I decided to pre-order because I was so excited. Today's video we're gonna see if I actually read those books and did I end up liking them? Was it worth the pre-order? Hey y'all welcome back to my channel. If you're new here my name is Sam. We are going through a list of books that I pre-ordered last year and we're gonna see if I actually read them and if it was actually worth the pre-order. There are not that many because I really don't pre-order books all that often but these books were books that I was just so excited about that I could not wait. Before we jump into the actual books don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon will notify you when I post and let's jump into the six books I pre-ordered in 2021. The first book that I pre-ordered was House of Sky and Breath by Sarah Dumas. This is the second book in the Crescent City series. We all knew I was going to pre-order this. Like, that was not a surprise. We all know that I absolutely adored it. That's not a surprise either. I will say I didn't enjoy it as much as the first book. I still love the first book more. And I found with Sarah J. Moss that does not happen. Like, her other two series... I didn't like the first books. I mean, I liked Akatar, but like nowhere near as much as the rest of the series. And Throne of Glass, I actually hated the first four books. So it's a miracle I even got through that series. But this one, I did really, really enjoy. Everybody knows the ending was just... Nah. I don't even know how to describe the feelings that happened at that ending. I'm pretty sure I screamed out loud. I'm pretty sure my husband thought I was nuts. But it's fine. This one was absolutely worth the pre-order. When the next one is announced, I will be pre-ordering that one as well. As well as anything else this author writes. The next book that I pre-ordered was Court by Tracy Wolf. This is, I think, book four in the Crave series. I did not read this one. I actually have not even gotten to this one. I do enough to the second book. Twice. Um, so... I don't know about this one. I, I truly don't. Um, if you've been here a while, you've, you've seen multiple vlogs from me about this series. I adored the first book the first time that I read it. Absolutely loved it. And then the second book I found out a spoiler and I wasn't ready and I was just upset about it and so I put it down for a while, decided to pick it back up, and I still DNF'd the second book again. And that one wasn't because of the spoiler, it was because I got bored. So, I've kept the series so far. I have not unhauled it because I still have high hopes that I will continue and that it was just a bad time to try and read it. I still have high hopes, but I did pre-order this and I did not read it. Did, did not. The next book that I pre-ordered was The War of Two Queens by Jennifer L. Armentrout. This is fourth book, fourth book in the Blood and Ash series. I did read this one. I did adore it. I loved every second of it. Parts of this book still live in my head and I will never stop thinking about the joining. Ever. Life changing, honestly. Like it will never leave my brain. So I actually tapped it um, because I had to. I had to. Absolutely love this book. I've already pre-ordered or like put my eye on the pre-orders, waiting for pre-orders for the rest of this series because I will be reading everything from this series and the like prequel series. I did get the next book for that. I haven't read it yet but I, I do have it. Next up we have You'll Be the Death of Me. This is by Karen and McManus and it it's very similar to all of her other books. I feel like most of her books are set with like a group of kids in high school and then somebody ends up dead and then they end up in the middle of this investigation and you don't know who to trust and everybody's kind of suspicious and and it's really no different here. This one was my most disappointing of her books. I love this author. She's one of my favorite authors. I have loved everything she has ever written except this one. I didn't love this one. I The reveal was just kind of a letdown. Like it just wasn't anything that I was like, wow, that was really well done. I really liked the end of that. Like I felt like that with all of her other books. I didn't feel that way with this book. I still gave it like three stars like it's still you know a pretty solid um young adult mystery thriller it just it didn't reach the level of her other books honestly like she has so many other books that are so much better than this one if you want to start Karen and McManus don't start with this one start with literally anything else 
The next book I pre-ordered was The Final Gambit. This is the third book in the Inheritance Games series and I loved it. Loved the whole series. I actually pre-ordered this one before I had read the first two. And I have no regrets on that because I loved it and I was so hoping I was gonna love it and I was so right. It is my favorite young adult mystery series. Loved it. This is everything I wanted out of Truly Devious and did not get. And last but not least, the first book that I pre-ordered like immediately as soon as I could, it was already bought and purchased and ready to go, was Go Tell the Bees That I'm Gone. This is by Diana Gabaldon and it is book nine in the Outlander series, which most of y'all know is my favorite series of all time. So of course I pre-ordered this one as soon as I possibly could and I adore it. I loved it. I will say this book is a ton of setup for what's supposed to be the last book in book 10. Um, so you don't really have a lot of plot here, but none of us are reading this book for the plot. Like, let's be honest, we are reading for Jamie. We are not reading for the plot. We are solely reading for Jamie. At least I am. I mean, the other characters are great too. I love them all, but like, Jamie. Okay, so those are all the books that I pre-ordered last year. I don't really pre-order a lot of books, but most of the ones that I pre-ordered turned out really well. Four out of six were read and loved. Only one was not picked up at all. So that's pretty good. Honestly, I'm pretty proud of that. So now it's time to start picking out my pre-orders for next year and what books I'm excited about. So look forward to that video coming up soon with all of the new releases in 2023 that I am excited about. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye!